Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at this highly modified Nerf Rapid Strike. So this blaster obviously started its life out as a Nerf Rapid Strike. Um, you can see a little bit of it down here. Um, that's about all you can really see from it. Um, the original grip was chopped off, the front was chopped, the top was chopped, and it was shoved inside of a Centurion with actually a second Rapid Strike on top of it. You can see the second one right here. So there's two Rapid Strikes right here. And then a Recon Barrel with a demolisher top end and a stockade stock or a stockade for the battery tray. So there's a good many blasters that gave their lives to complete this one glorious blaster. So basically on the insides, it's basically just a Nerf Rapid Strike, but on crack. Um, it has a extended pusher so it can feed half darts with a uh, fang revamp pusher motor. So up front is a BAM Blasters dual stage cage. In the first stage, it's running 42K motors. And in the second stage, it's running 74K motors, hitting close to 300 FPS. So this thing is definitely a powerhouse. I'm going to be taking it to APOC this Saturday. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping to uh, have a good time and be able to be competitive with this against all the 3D printed blasters. Because we know everybody's going to be bringing their 3D printed blasters that are all fancy and dancy. But I want to see if this thing can compare. Other biddly bobs. Um, I have an extended barrel on this version. Um, the barrel lug came from a uh, Nexus Pro. Um, you can hollow out the little ridge in there. And it fits perfectly on N-Strike barrels. It's a really nice attachment. And then up top is a full Picatinny rail by Worker, and then uh, folding iron sights also by Worker, and they release with a button, so they're pretty cool. Um, again, this blaster is half dart only. You can remove the half dart mag well and try to put a full length mag up there, but as you can see, it's a half dart pusher. It takes half darts only. This thing is meant to shoot half darts really, really fast. So to get on to the Hydro Dip, um, this is a zombie film Hydro Dip reminiscent to the original Interfectorum Immortuus. That was the first version of this blaster, the first iteration. Um, it's on my channel if you're interested in viewing that. Um, but this is a the same Hydro Dip film, and I did this one, um, and it came out pretty dang clean. Um, I'll show it to you real quick. The paint underneath is really shiny too. And it's a nice like metallic green so it came out really nice yeah there's the voltmeter right there I forgot to mention it does have a voltmeter I'll show you the other side real quick but overall yeah it came out pretty dang nice um, I'm really happy with the way it turned out it just uh, it looks like the original, but modernized, which is exactly what I was going for. Because back when I made the original, the most advanced thing was a 3D, was a metal cage. I mean, metal cages are nice and they're still useful today. But now that Band Blasters is making 300 FPS cages, a metal cage is kind of just like, what's the point? So, I put the latest and greatest technology in this thing. And I think it's going to perform really well. So let's go outside and actually show you guys the performance and just show you how hard this thing is hitting. 
This is going to be the chronograph reading of the uh, modified rapid strike. So here we go. Two twenty-three. Two twenty. Two twenty-four. Two thirty-nine. Duplicate two thirty-nine. Two fourteen. Two forty-four. Two thirty-four and two thirty-two. Now we're just going to be going for range with this thing. Yeah, that's going to be the end of my testing. I would do more, but as you can see, my only LiPo that fits in this thing is running dangerously low. So we are going to uh, leave it at that. So yeah, guys, as you can see, this thing is hitting hard, it is hitting fast, and it is looking pretty while doing it. So uh, not much more to say on this. Um, I will show you it one more time just for like the sake of the integration. If y'all want to try to find the lines, be my guest. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoy the content, please like, comment, and subscribe, and share it to a friend. And as always, have a good day.